Hi ducklings! I used to call my students ducklings because I felt like I was a mother duck. Now it's been almost three months when I started um, making these videos, uh, maths and chit chat. And I'm still not quite used to hearing my voice and seeing my face on the screen. But that's, that's life, isn't it? Like, nothing is perfect. So life is like, they say, always under construction. You know, it's never going to be completed or finished. So that's, that's what it is. I just have to get used to it. Now, I was one of those fortunate people to have great mentors and I still have um, some they are great I highly recommend to find one or two in your life they could be uh, someone who's a bit older than you uh, could be just um, just a little bit older who has more life experience and um, my mentors uh, ex-teachers that I work with and they're, they're retired now but um, they're just great so when I'm stuck with something I just ring them up for advice or suggestions and they, they're just great listeners now one of them always um, asked me the same question after he listens he will say so what do you want now today's topic is what do you want now at the time I don't think I could answer that question very well well to tell the truth if I knew that answer I probably didn't have to call him um, but there's a couple of reasons I couldn't answer it because at first I think I wanted it like all of them all my options like I couldn't choose one and second probably I didn't really look into all my options so that pick one that I really really want so that's sort of yes and if if I sort of knew about me who I was at the time a little bit more clear I think it would be a lot easier for me to make a decision of what I really want so to help to answer the question what do you want I think it's important to learn who you are like what you like to do or what you don't like to do you know so if you know what kind of person you are you know that sort of thing I think it helps you to to decide what you really want now I'm a person who like to help Yes, so being a teacher really fits that purpose and at the beginning of teaching and I, when I realized a lot of students don't like maths, I, it, it was hard for me. <laughs> I felt like it was my fault that they didn't like maths. Yes, I really did. And that was a bit um, silly because now I don't really care. Um, I get a bit, a mm, little bit disappointed, a little tiny bit. But not much because you know some people like it some people don't but I do recommend you give it a go good go at it even if you don't like okay so that's something um, another thing I used to do was I'm a, I was a big planner like a long-term planner especially I'm not talking about term like a, or, or, or six months or a year I'm talking about like three years five years ten years plan yes I know and I spent a whole day planning it and I felt so good about it you know but it it never passed one week because quickest thing quickest time that I could even see a little tiny bit of results of that plan was three years now I, I, I couldn't wait that long so that just wasn't gonna work so these days I do daily plan but with weekly to-do list so I have a weekly to-do list meaning as um, like deadlines that I have to complete in that week but I have a daily plan 
that each day I have a three, four, you know, small and big goals to do. So that's what I do. Um, another thing I would like to talk about is the, you know, that people say there is time for everything. Now you're at school, and some people are at work. Um, this time, the schooling, high school, it's not going to come back again for you. So what I'm trying to say is, this is a time for you to do study and enjoy the study. Because when you get a job, have family and kids, all that sort of thing in the future, even you want to do study, it's very hard. You can't really just drop everything and just enroll a course and just do it. You know, you've got a lot of commitments, other commitments that you have to complete. So enjoy this given time and, and do your best. That's what I'm trying to say. And also, um, life is like a circle. It's not straight line. So, which means, you know, it, it goes around. So when you have a, this period of time in your life that it's, everything is like really exciting and passionate about things. When you have that, use it and enjoy it. You know, because after that, it just dies up a little bit. And then you have to wait for a while to come back. You know? So for example, my video, uh, three months ago, I was really passionate about the videos, uh, making math videos. And, but when we went back to school, uh, it just quieted down a bit. And now this week, I feel like I want to I wanna do it again. So when you have that moment of passion or wanting to do something, use that and just push yourself and improve yourself. I think that's important. So nothing is a forever, okay? So keep going. So um, when you are um, happy, I think I mentioned, uh, when you're happy, um, be humble and think of others. When you are sad, uh, hang in there because it will pass. So nothing is a forever, guys. Okay? Um, so uh, learn to get to know yourself. And that will help you to make a decision in the future, uh, like what do you want. And when you know what do you what you want, and you know who you are and where you come from, like the roots and you know all that sort of thing, it it can most likely lead you to to get a job or work and get paid for something that you're passionate about. And that would be ideal, I think. That's the best way to, to, to live life, isn't it? You, you do things that you, you're passionate about, you're good at, and you're really into it, and you get paid for it. That would be amazing. So that's, I think, something that you can work on. So find out what you really want. Okay, well, have a great week, ducklings, and I will see you next week. See ya.